Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, my last video was about, about socks and, um, that she's passed, bless her. And that video's down at the moment because I've been sort of in a bit of a fog, guys, and I was going to edit it and then I totally forgot. And then, uh, today, I had my therapist and uh, it was a really good session and it really went well um, I've been sober for now two days but today's the second day and I'll turn the other way let's go my first walk uh, retracing mine and sock steps since uh, since she's passed and I don't know how long I've been out um, but I've just been walking around the field crying. I knew, like, this would be the killer for me. It'd be the absolute heartbreak of it all. But if I can get past this, I know she's in a better place. I know she's safe now, happy. And, and I can just sort of try and get back to normality. Um, without that, really. Because she was my... She was my everything, you know? She was the one that I got up for in the mornings. I know it sounds a bit drastic for, for you know, for, for you non-dog lovers. I wasn't a dog lover either, but when I had her, she was just, she was amazing, you know? Um, the thing is, I, I've been, uh, well, I had one night where I was drinking vodka and I was just going a bit nuts. Um, I just didn't want to stop drinking, so I did, yeah. My anxiety for the last three days has been so bad. I've had, like, phew, I've been paranoid, everything. Yearning things that are not there. And it's all alcohol and you know. But, uh, but much better today, so... Yeah, so I've came to this field. I've done so many laps on it, now I'm just going back and forth. <laughs> Um, because I knew that I would cry, so I just had my music on in my ears, retraced our steps, cried my fucking heart out, excuse me, screamed, yeah, I was walking around the field screaming, I was, because, you know, I had effort, <clears throat> and I was saying to myself, what's the point in going for a walk? If she ain't you, you know. But there is a point. Because if that dog could speak, she'd be like, well, ma'am, I don't want you to get fat sitting on your ass all day. Get out and do something. You know what I mean? <sighs> oh, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful, though, isn't it? Look at that. So, yeah. On the weather side of things, it's been fucking snowing. It's no joke. My hair. I have this like one hair. Oh, doesn't there anything go fucking right? And I think what well, I was told today is going to snow really bad tonight. So that's what you get for being Welsh, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, as I said about the other video about socks, I'm going to go back now and edit it. Well, uh, edit it. Say, so, guys, uh, you know. Second day of being sober again, coming out. It was just getting out that door. Um, it was more, more to do with the dog, you know, of course, like, you know. Arguing with my parents again. <laughs> you know, when you just get to that point and you think, this has been such, like, it's like a revolving door when you're an addict. It's like a revolving door. It's like a roller coaster that just won't stop. But you can't seem to get off it. No matter how hard you fucking try. Um. Well, as I always say, you know, if anyone's starting their sobriety, well done. And, um, and good luck. It doesn't come easy. <laughs> um, especially if you've got uh, mental health issues, uh, alongside it as well as I've said before doesn't come easy but um 
just try and do everything you possibly can and if you can try and look at things a lot differently than you do it's easy easily said than done i know that but um for example if you drive and you have a car you know what do you look at that car as that car is a, is like a killing machine right you could go on like a killing killing spree and kill any fucker in your path or you could use it to get from a to b like you bought it for do you understand what i mean it's just me me and my metaphors <laughs> they're always there somewhere right your wounds are not your fault but your it's your responsibility to to start healing do you understand what i mean and by healing i mean really really trying to heal yourself from what you've been through or even guys even if you know you put yourself through shit by being by becoming this addict you know that you didn't set out to be in the first place but all of a sudden you are because when we're addicts we lose we lose we lose years upon years of our lives and as i said in another video which i meant i didn't want to stop drinking because i thought ah i've gone too far do you understand what i mean it doesn't matter you can always i think you know what i'm trying to say don't know <laughs> just believe in yourself and just just i know it's easier than said to done but just get off your ass I don't know, go and do something. What? Try and remember what, what you liked before. <sighs> Excuse me. My therapist said to me earlier... Sorry, I was just looking at my boots. I think I just stepped in dog shit. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, what did she say? Oh, she said, when you go for a bike ride. I was like, well, no. Cause I can't, she said, why? Can't fucking ride a bike. I said, I can get on it. I might be able to push myself and start up. Don't ask me to turn around, stop it, or get off. <laughs> I remember what you used to like before before you found yourself sitting in a fucking crackhead fucking house. Crack house. With pipes around you. You know, you look to your left, there's a weed or sucking on a pipe. You look to your right. Fucking same thing. Got into that situation. Try and think what you liked. Was it swimming? Was it bowling? Are you into your movies? Are you a movie buff, you know? Are you a foodie? Like me? Because <laughs> I, I was a fitness fanatic when I was younger. Couldn't get me out to the friggin' gym. And then my therapist said today, well, if it was already in you, it just needed to be resurrected. I said, I'm not fucking Jesus. Like, he just told me I'm not special. <laughs> fucking hell, the resurrection of... The resurrection of Kaylee's exercise. I think that's what I'll name this video. <laughs> I'm only joking. All right, guys, I think I'll leave it there now because, yeah, I'm nearly by the gate now, home anyway, so. So I'll just... Oh, Jesus Christ. As I said, if you are starting your sobriety, good luck and uh, well done for, you know, starting that step. <sighs> Tell you what, my, my legs are rock hard. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon. Take care now, bye-bye then.